Welcome to a live unboxing of Fly Girl Box. So this is my favorite part of the month is when I get this box um, in the mail. So Fly Girl Box is a monthly subscription program for um, flight attendants and women who travel, which since I'm a former flight attendant and a current woman who travels, it's perfect for me. So this is designed by a former flight attendant, um, and she every month curates a really special kind of flux grouping of um, products for um, her subscribers to try and enjoy. Every um, month we get a something for your lunch bag. You get usually a food, well, a food sample, um, some sort of like um, bath and body kind of thing, and also really fun and useful um, items. So every month I do a live unboxing. So on YouTube, you can check out any of my other unboxings if you want to check them out. And another cool thing is a lot of her products are available in her shop. So if you do watch my other unboxings and you're like, dang, I need that, you can go and um, visit the shop. Um, and there's a link in the description and then you can get you can purchase that item or I would love for you to try the box too and if you use the code new fly girl like all together new fly girl you can save 10% off your first box this is what the box looks like super cute crew it's like a little vintage suitcase you open it up don't forget to share hashtag fly girl box for a chance to win she gives away a box every week I mean every month not every week every month Inside my box, let's see what I got this one. So I've already looked at it. I actually got it, I'm a little late, because it comes like right at the beginning of the month. It comes like the first couple days. Um, so I already looked at it, but I hadn't had a chance to do an unboxing, and I'm doing it today though, because I had to show y'all. Get a paper, it has a description, and of all your um, different products and stuff, and then also my favorite part is the back. The back always has like a little article written by a flight attendant or a former flight attendant. My favorite one so far, there was one about um, like a tour in Italy. So she was a flight attendant. She had like done a little tour in Italy. All the deets were there. That was pretty cool. Um, and then this is by Talia, who if you probably, you might follow her. I think Instagram is where I follow her. Take off with Tal. Why being a flight attendant is a gift, which I would agree. Just like this fly girl box is a gift. So is being a flight attendant. Good. All right. So let's dive in. So really cool stuff. Okay. So let's go ahead and start with the um, product that I actually had a little bit of say in. So Brittany, the um, girl who owns Fly Girl Box, the Fly Girl, the official hashtag Fly Girl Box, she um, sent me an email and she was like, um, I need your help with two different patterns for the next product. And I told her which one I liked the best and it's the one she picked. So I got it. Okay. This is, um, if you are not a flight attendant yet, this is a new flight attendant tip. Hashtag new, why do I keep saying hashtag? New flight attendant tips. This is a ice bag, okay? It's actually like a headache bag. So like, oh, I'm so hungover. You know, like you see in the old movies. This is why this will become your best friend. You can fill this with ice and keep it in your bag and it will create your, it will make your cooler I don't want to say refrigerator because that's pretty intense, but the thing is about being a flight attendant is you're trying to pack, you're trying to bring food, you're trying to meal plan, you want to save money, you want to eat healthier, you don't want to be eating out as much. Sometimes your layovers are so freaking short that like ramen and law and order is your only option before passing out and then getting up six hours later. So you don't always have access to refrigerators. The airplane doesn't have refrigerators. You might be lucky enough to be on an airplane that has a chiller, but airplanes don't have refrigerators. And um, a lot of hotel rooms don't have refrigerators either. Now, some of you may fly for airlines that maybe that's negotiated into your contract. So then you're lucky duckies, but you've still got to get your stuff from one place to the other. That's why this is amazing. You put ice, you always have access to ice. Ice machine at the hotel, ice on the plane. So you keep filling this with ice, you don't freeze it. Reusable, refreezable junk does not work because you don't have a freezer. It's only good for the first three hours. You keep refilling this and you keep unscrewing it and you just drain the water off and then you fill it with more ice and now you're good to go again. 
Um, another thing is these, because they're made to hold ice, they have a special kind of coating on them, so they don't sweat as bad as like a Ziploc bag full of ice. Um, and it's a screw top. Look at all the screwing. Oh, it's not nice. Look at how much screwage you get with this headache bag. That wasn't any better. So really, it's really leak proof, okay? Because I have a big pet peeve is the difference between leak resistant, which does you no good with pressurization and all, and leak proof. So I would say this is leak proof. Another pro tip, do not put dry ice in your headache bag. Um, a lot of airplanes, airlines, you'll sometimes get catered dry ice. If you do a ice cream Sunday service, then you for sure have your dry ice. Don't put dry ice in this and then seal it up because what does dry ice do? If you said melt, you're wrong because the word is sublimate, but it basically turns straight from <laughs> science lesson. It turns straight from a solid to a gas. It doesn't turn to a liquid. And so it would expand in here and cause it to explode theoretically. Um, or when you unscrewed it, it would cause a psh and you wouldn't want that. So don't ever put dry ice in anything that is sealed up, plastic bag or anything like that, okay? So, but this is for regular ice. And the great thing about dry ice, you can just like toss it in your, in your bag and as long as it can sublimate and disperse, then it's no cleanup. So you don't need to put it in anything anyways. All right, oh, and the pattern, since I was totally braggy about the pattern. Look at these llamas, y'all. That's so precious. Okay, so that's the headache bag. Llama lunch bag ice pack. She calls it ice pack. All right, let's do the next one. The next thing I want to show you is my sort of like my bath and body thing. So this is Brompton and Langley hand cream. If I could do a British accent, I would do that now, but I can't. So you just get a weird, a weird accent. Lavender. I got lavender. Um, everyone gets different scents. It's a six dollar value. These are awesome because first of all, it's two fluid ounces. So since I'm not a flight attendant and I am a woman who travels, I am bound by current regulations, which would include um, liquids over a certain ounce, ounceage. That's another good thing. Okay, back to the headache bag. This is my favorite thing ever. If you're um, a woman who travels, which that's what I am now. So when I was a flight attendant, I didn't think about it. This had ice, melted ice, half melted, whatever. I could go through security, no big deal, because I have different regulations. Now I travel with um, my children mostly, and we still pack a lot of snacks because kids got to eat. So I'll either take this dry and then get some ice, or um, you can take ice through security if it's frozen solid. So again, when I get up to the big trash can, I can just drain the, the water that's left in here out and then I'll just have my ice cubes and then that can go through security. So um, that's another little tip for this if you're not a flight attendant but a woman who travels. Now I'm putting on my lavender hand cream. Mm, it's nice, it's not strong at all. This is one of the lightest scented lavenders because lavender is kind of intense, which I love lavender so I wouldn't be mad at that either. I always put it in my hair because I have curly hair, so the moisture is the moisture is helpful. All right, look at that. Okay, I'm sure that was super interesting. Now I want to show you my snack. No, my hair's all. I haven't tried them yet because I wanted to show y'all, and it took a lot of self-control because these are honey, mustard, and onion, which my father-in-law works for Snyder, and so. My favorite and Emily Grace, my five-year-old's favorite snack is the honey mustard um, pretzel bites from them. And so we get them for Christmas. But I'm really excited to try this one. And this is actually just a 100-calorie pack, which is nice. So this is perfect for in your bag. And again, all these food things and all these little things you can buy in the shop, too, if you're like, ooh, I want to try those. But I had never seen any other ones that were flavored. So I'm excited to, to, to try this. Um, last month I got some really nice dark chocolate and, and I'm not a dark chocolate fan, but it was really good. So you can go watch that video and see. Oh, I don't know which one. The next two things I'm really, ah, I don't know which one to show you next. Okay. I'm going to show you that because I love them both so much. This is beautiful. Do you see how beautiful this passport cover is? Like, I'm almost with, I'm going to be afraid to use it, but I will. Because you need to use your nice things. Light your nice candles. Use your nice lotions. Use your nice 
passport cover. So this says Jet Setter, a fashionable social set composed of people who travel frequently, an individual that is worldly and well-traveled, an aficionado of arts, culture, and exotic destinations. Hashtag Abby. Okay, maybe not. Well, close. I'm trying to be. Hashtag goals. How about that? Jet Center. So this is just a really pretty, what I like is my current passport um, holder is not a wallet too. So it's just a pretty pink cover for my passport. Whereas this has a place for your passport to slide in here and you can easily slide it out. You don't have to fold its arms into the sides. And then this is one of my biggest problems is I never have a place for change. I'm always just throwing it. So you could put your change in here, especially, you know, if you had like, um, or you could, if you wanted to, you could keep your foreign currency in here too. Um, and then there's some places for cards. I think it's RDF or whatever. Maybe not. I don't know. It doesn't say anything. So, you know, that stuff where they can't like, like aliens can't like steal your face picture or whatever. Okay. Is that pretty though? Tell me how pretty that is. It's like rose gold. It's like gorgeous. It's like the prettiest wallet I think I've ever had. Thank you, Brittany. <laughs> All right, here's the last one. The last item from my box this time. This is a travel infinity scarf with hidden pockets. So I'm going to go ahead and tell y'all that I'm not a big infinity scarf people. And I'll tell you why. Because we're friends on the interwebs. Because my, like... My bust line to be just delicate is so big that like infinity scarves end up like sitting like right under my nose. So I don't usually use infinity scarves because it's like here. I'd rather like tie a scarf around my neck that's not being propped up by my ample bosom. But this one is really thin. So it's like um, it's like a t-shirt or like those t-shirt sheets. <laughs> So it's like a t-shirt. So it's really thin. It's not fluffy at all, which makes it lay a little bit flatter show you and I shouldn't have worn a black shirt because now you can't see it at all so see it's an infinity scarf but here's why it's cool okay here's why it's cool right here <sighs> you can zip you can unzip and it's a pocket don't look at my credit card it's a pocket <laughs> it's a pocket for credit cards isn't that cool or you could put like some cash there so um, it's almost, so it's like, it's like a fanny pack for your neck, but no one knows it's a secret fanny pack. So I really do like this though. I think it would be nice, especially on the plane, because when you want to buy a cocktail and you have to go digging through your bag and it's underneath the seat in front of you and you've already got your laptop out now when the beverage service comes around and you can just zip and flip. You don't have to dig at all or stop working or stop whatever you're doing on the plane. So, um, of course, don't drink in uniform and make sure that you're legal to drink per your company's guidelines. All right. There we go. Isn't that cool? So that's what I got this month. Um, again, thank you, Brittany. You're amazing. I love it. This I really like, although I have a set of these. So this is not my favorite thing in this box. I already had one. But if you don't have one, this should be your favorite thing in the box. The favorite thing in the box has got to be this because it's so pretty. And again, I feel like every month I say this, but like she picks things that like I would see, like I would see this at the store and I'd be like, oh my gosh, that is so pretty. And I'd pick it up and I'd like smell it and like, and then I'd put it down and I wouldn't buy it for myself. And every month I get something that, that is that it's like too special. I wouldn't have bought it for myself, but she gave it to me. And so now I'm super happy that I have it. So that happens every month. That's why I like her bag because her box, because it's a little bit more upscale, like glamorous, kind of take care of you. So, um, another great box. Bye.